Hello there, welcome to the Airgun Gear Show. A little bit of breaking news for you. I've been told to wear a new coat. Apparently the other one had got a little bit tatty. I have to say though, me and coat aren't bonding, but we'll give it time. Anyway, in today's episode, I've got a rifle from a manufacturer that I've been wanting to try out for a long time. They've been in the airgun industry for years and know loads about air rifles and pistols. They work closely with some of the biggest names in the industry and across their air rifle range, they've just increased the shot capacity of each of their rifles. I've seen exactly what their Concept S6 rifle can do. So listen up world, because Brocock are here. The rifle I have here is the Concept S6 Elite, which is a six shot pre-charged pneumatic air gun. And this version is the sub 12 foot pound, although export versions are available in higher power. Starting at the bangy end, the Brocock moderator can be seen and it nestles comfortably on the barrel of the rifle. Working down the ball barrel, we see the stock, which is American Walnut made in England by Custom Stocks of Sheffield. And what a fine job they've done. The stock is so pointy in places and beautifully rounded in others. And it looks so unlike the stocks I'm used to. I like different. Just look at the graining on the thumb hole section. Exquisite. And we don't want to miss the detail about the barrel. It's actually made by Virarc, so you know that you've got German build quality. The breech is just so simple, with the cocking arm well polished and purposeful, because it does what it's supposed to, load the pellet and charge each shot. It gives feedback through your fingertips, so you know all has worked through every pull and push. The trigger is two stage adjustable and it feels great. I don't care what poundage is needed to pull the damn thing, it feels like a trigger. The breech has a 12mm scope rail and at the end of the stock there's a deep dished rubber shoulder pad. Brocock has increased its shot count and when charging the rifle no lost dust caps here as the charging port has a rotating inbuilt cover so it's just fill and go. Plus with the fill indicator you always know what's left in the tank. I really like the look and feel of this rifle and the simplicity of it right down to the logo on the bottom of the grip. As soon as I received the Concept S6, I put a scope on the top and went outside with it with a tin of pellets. And within a couple of minutes, I was shooting accurate groups. Now this rifle will work perfectly for a beginner. It'll also pull a smile on the face of a more experienced shooter as well. Let me show you some of those results. I used the magic pellet cupboard on this one, randomly choosing four tins, Air Arms Fields, Bisleys, Day States and H&Ns. Now Brocock do do their own pellets specifically for their range of rifles. Unfortunately, it didn't make it out of the random cupboard. So I'll do a video on those later. The Air Arms are the winner, but only just. After another practice with the Air Arms, I'm now going to move the target from here to here, out to 30 meters, and do another six shots at 30 meters. Before we do the test though, I've got to load the magazine, and that's dead easy. You pull the rifle bolt back, put it into safe, and you take the magazine out. Quick tip when loading the magazine, make sure that the pellets always drop all the way in. Sometimes they do just need a tap. And why is that? It's because they need to just move past this rubber seating ring just here. If you don't make sure the pellet has moved past the rubber seating ring, they can sometimes fall back out. But as you can see, as long as you do it correctly, it's not a problem. When your magazine is loaded with six shots, you simply pop it back in. Something to note, when the bolt is in this position, the rifle is safe. It won't fire. You need to lift the bolt, push it forward and drop it down to put it into the fire position. So I've got the Brocock loaded, on the rest, 30 meters, ready to go.
For those of you that follow us on Facebook, you will know that I've been telling you for the last couple of weeks just how impressed I am with this rifle. At 20 meters, it's through the same hole. At 30 meters, does pretty much the same. True, one low and to the right, but I'm not no world-class shooter. What else can I do with the brocock? Apart from shooting targets, a lot of you are going to use the Brocock Concept S6 for some sort of pest control, whether it's rabbits, rats or pigeons. This rifle is ideal to get you in and out of those tight spaces because it's only 97 centimetres in length. And with the Concept S6, don't be afraid to reach out and touch your target a little bit further on. Here we've got a 5mm fun size paintball at 50 metres. The Brocock makes me smile every time I use it. We did that in one take, one shot. Didn't quite expect it, but one shot. No re-zeroing or anything, one shot. So I'm gonna do it again. Now remember, this is a UK sub 12 foot pound air rifle, and I'm getting over a six shot string, an average of 772.86 feet per second. And with 8.4 grain pellets, that gives me an average 11.14 foot pounds, or 15.11 joules. Any good rifle review should always end with a bit of a bang. There we are then, that's my review of the Brocock Concept S6 pre-charged pneumatic air rifle in 177 calibre. And some of the first thing you guys are gonna say out there is, you've just made an advert for Brocock. Yes, yes I have. I've just made a completely free of charge advert for Brocock. Why? Because I asked to try this air rifle. And do you know what? I'm really pleased that I did. It just works. The simplicity of it is the beauty of it, from the loading arm through to the filler cap. It's just been thought of as a simple project. No big bells and whistles, not trying to be clever or overly complicated. It just puts the pellet on target over and over again without any fuss whatsoever. And it's damn good looking to boot. So I'll tell you what, if you had less, and I say less than 500 pounds, to bet on an air rifle and you're stood at the roulette table and you don't know what to put your money on, I suggest you put it on the square that says Brocock because I think you're gonna come up a winner.